Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to continue talking about using the Elgato Stream Deck with the TriCaster, specifically using the Stream Deck to control the teleprompter portion of Live Story Creator. Now, Live Story Creator allows you to run a script through the TriCaster, and that script can fire off different commands in your show and basically run that show for you. Now, the Stream Deck has a functionality that will let you stop, start, speed up, slow down your script, depending on your talent's reading speed. Now, normally this action is found specifically on the TriCaster interface, but now you can free up some room and use the Stream Deck. This is probably my favorite way of using the Stream Deck. Uh, you can even have your talent themselves uh, put this on their desk and run their teleprompter like I'm doing right now. A very handy addition to your workflow. So, let me show you how it's done, son. All right, all right, all right. So here we are on my standalone PC that is running the Stream Deck, which is on my desk. And I also have NDI Studio Monitor open so that I can quickly get to my TriCaster uh, to Elite. And then also I want to have this on screen so that I can show you the uh, actions that I'm doing to Live Story Creator here at the bottom. Okay, so we'll go over to Stream Deck here and underneath the New Tech drop down, you'll see right here, Live Story Teleprompter. So let's go ahead and we'll drag that into any button here. All right, so from here, here's a few things that you can do. All right, so first we're gonna just, uh, we can put a title for it. I'll go ahead and skip that for the time being. Uh, but uh, from here, uh, you have a couple different actions for the teleprompter. So if I click this drop down, you'll see that I have options for play, uh, stop, adjust speed, uh, go to the next segment or previous segment or completely reload the script. Now, if you want to have all of these up, you would basically need to drag another uh, one of these iterations into uh, another uh, box here so that you can have like your start here, stop, for example, and have each one of these. So uh, these buttons will only do one thing at a time. Okay, so let's go ahead and start to configure this. So uh, first thing that I want to mention is on the play side of things, you can determine which play speed you want your particular uh, uh, life, uh, life story creator text to uh, flow. So it really depends on your uh, speaker. Uh, I typically like to have it at, at 0.31 or so because I'm a bit of a motor mouth. Uh, and then the next thing you're going to need is the device IP address. So uh, what we can do is we can go up here to the NDI Studio Monitor, and I'll click on the Notifications window, and then you'll see right here, this is the uh, IP address of my machine. So it's uh, 10.28.3.10. So let's go ahead and come back over here and type that in, 10.28.3.10. Okay, and now the next part portion is going to be the username and password for Live Panel if you're running it. Now, again, you don't have to run Live Panel uh, for this to work. Uh, this is just one of the the things if you are running Live Panel so that they uh, can communicate. So, uh, but by default, if you're not running Live Panel, then the username and password will just be admin admin. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll title this button play so that we know what we're looking at here and then also on the stream deck it will appear as play at the bottom there okay so let's go ahead and do that so whenever now when i press the button on my stream deck it will start to play this script at the 0.31 speed that i had so let's go ahead and do that and boom we are off and running now i've turned the uh, the actions off and comments off just because i want to show you the speed uh, etc on here um, but let's go ahead and stop that so let's go ahead and make a, another button here for stopping the playback as well. So let's go ahead and call that stop. And there we go. And put in the IP address again. E ten. And admin for that. All right, now what's cool about this is I can hit play. Boom. And now that's playing. And if I need to stop it, I'll hit stop button. And it'll stop. Pretty dope. Okay. So... Uh, also, if you hit uh, stop twice on your uh, button here, uh, same thing like with on the software for the TriCaster, uh, if you hit stop twice, it will reset your script back to the beginning of the page. Okay? So now let's grab another one of these, and we'll throw Live Story Teleprompter here. All right. And let's go ahead and fill all this up as well. So this time we'll do uh, adjust speed. We'll do this one. We'll call this one slower. 
Okay, so when you have the adjust speed uh, option selected, you have basically an option to go slower or faster. So it doesn't necessarily that doesn't really uh, give you like an exact speed to put in there. It's just if you want to um, set it up fast or slow. And of course, I forgot 1028 310. Okay, I was right. 10 right and then all right. So let's go ahead and hit play. So we see over here that my script is going. And if I hit slower, it'll start to slow it down. And if I keep hitting slower, it'll go incrementally slower the more times I press that. Okay? All right. So now let's take another live story teleprompter, put that here. And we'll call this one faster. So we'll go to adjust speed. All right. I'll make that faster. Again, 1028.3.10. And then. All right, so let's go ahead and hit play again. And now let's speed that script up by pressing faster on my stream deck. There you go. And same thing, if you press it a couple times, it'll start to go faster and faster and faster until it just speeds past screen. Okay. Let's go ahead and stop and go back to the beginning. And now let me grab one more of these, put this one at the bottom. And the next option here is to go to either next segment or previous segment. Okay, so the, what that means is if you have uh, different comments and breaks in your uh, broadcast, uh, for example, the speakers here, uh, it will just basically skip to the next one. So we'll say next segment. And let's put a page break in there so it looks a little nicer on my stream deck. Cool, cool, cool. Same thing, IP address. Oops. Admin, all right. Cool. And once that's in there, let's go ahead and hit play. And I'll go to the next segment. So it'll automatically go straight to that next one and then go to the next one that I have in here, just depending on how many segments that you have. All right, let me hit double stop here. Now you can also do this for previous segment. That'll go backwards, obviously. All right. Uh, now you do also have an option here for reloading the script. So let's say you make a change uh, on your uh, script. What you can do is just say reload. If you can type it properly, go to divide IP 1028.3.10. Right, and then as well. All right, and once that's in, let's just go ahead and I don't I didn't make any changes to my script, but this will reload it from the beginning, and you can see over here on the uh, TriCaster software that it will indeed reload the script if you made any changes to it, etc. Boom, there you go. So cool, what's awesome is now you have basically access to all of these just directly from your desk. So uh, I could be on my desk reading my script and say, all right, let's just hit play. We'll go through this and let me speed it up a little bit, etc. Stop it, go to the next segment, previous segment, etc. Reset it, a whole bunch of different ways you can do this. So you will need a button for each action on here. Uh, if you if you need them, uh, so to speak. So uh, that's how you would configure all of that, which is pretty dang cool. Uh, it, it definitely saves up space from the uh, TriCaster operator who's you know busy switching their show uh, to you know have to go through and you know manage the speed and which a teleprompter is moving, etc. So now you can have your uh, talent on screen uh, control that directly from there, or have a different teleprompter operator. It's up to you. But uh, again, this is coming from the Stream Deck, which is pretty dang cool. I highly recommend checking this out. And of course, you know how it is. Have some fun. There you go, another powerful way to use the Elgato Stream Deck in your productions. There's other tutorial videos on this topic that you can find on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash newtechinc. Make sure that you click like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you can find formalized new tech training at New Tech University, which you can sign up for at newtech.com slash newtech u And TriCaster operators, we are having an awards ceremony for the TriCaster Director of the Year, so get your submissions in now for the chance to win some really cool prizes. You can sign up, and there's details over at newtech.com slash tdoty. And if you're sharing your work on social media using new tech equipment, make sure that you tag us using the hashtags new tech, TriCaster, or 3Play. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.